The weather is attracting many people to Central Coast beaches, but at least at one beach in Santa Cruz County, it's attracting a lot of sharks as well. Seacliff State Beach. Action News reporter Felix Cortez is live in Aptos with this continuing story. Well, Aaron, Dan, those shark warnings were supposed to come down this afternoon, but they stayed up after more sharks were spotted. And those warning signs are not likely to come down anytime soon. My husband was telling me, he goes, hey, babe, is it my imagination, but is there a shark out there? I said, where? And I'm looking, and I'm like, oh, my gosh, there is. Fresno vacationers Mary Carver and her family saw Tuesday morning what many started seeing last week. Sharks at Sea Cliff State Beach and shark warnings that were expected to come down Tuesday afternoon stayed up after another shark was seen just 10 yards from shore. And it was just so close to the shore, and oh my gosh, I just couldn't believe I'd never seen a shark so close, and it's kind of scary. You know, uh, my grandkids are supposed to come out here, and now I don't know if I want them to come out and in the water. Last week, more than a dozen sharks were spotted near the cement ship. According to the Pelagic Shark Research Foundation in Santa Cruz, the sharks are young great whites, the biggest measuring about 10 feet. Beachgoers being warned, enter the water with caution. They told us not really to go swimming because the sharks. They're sign up, tell me there's a shark right in this ocean. I'm going to sit on the beach and put my toes in. <laughs> That's it. Aptos beachgoers say they've never heard of so many shark sightings in the area. The pesky sharks have now become an attraction. We come down every day, but now we're coming two or three times a day <laughs> to find them. Wow. So hopefully we will see one today. He should be napping, but we're going to bypass that right now to look for sharks. It's unclear why there are so many sharks lurking near the cement ship, possibly a food source or shifting currents bringing warmer water and shark warnings. Are those shark sightings going to keep you out of the water? Oh, heck no. <laughs> he likes yeah. The water. My mom, on the other hand, she <laughs> might stop me. Hopefully none of us get no, you know, no bites. <laughs> Where's Chief Brody when you need him? Oh, uh, Chief Brody. <laughs> last <Jaws>. question. <laughs> Now, state lifeguards say those shark warnings are very likely to remain up throughout the 4th of July weekend. Now, you, we have to make it very clear that the beach here at Seacliff State Beach will remain open. Just enter the water at your own risk. Reporting from Seacliff State Beach, I'm Felix Cortez, KSBW, Action News 8.